thoracic aorta. Here it is. And here also. The thoracic aorta is continuous with the aortic arch at the level of the lower border of the fourth thoracic vertebra. And it goes to the left of the midline. From the lower border, the fourth thoracic vertebra, here it is, the thoracic aorta descends within the posterior mediastinum. It gradually moves toward the midline and terminates as it passes through the aortic hiatus of the respiratory diaphragm at the level of 12th thoracic vertebra. branches of anterior plane, esophageal arteries. The arterial branching of the thoracic aorta tends to arise and follow three vascular planes. Anterior plane gives rise to the unpaired visceral branches that supply the gut and its derivates. These include the esophageal arteries, which may vary in number. Here they are. Esophageal branches number 3 to 6 ascend to the esophagus and branch in it by ascending and descending branches. Here it is, descending branches. The lower sections, the esophageal branches, anastomose with arteria gastrica sinistra and in the upper sections with arteria tiraida inferior. Branches of lateral plane, bronchial arteries. Lateral plane gives rise to paired visceral branches that supply the viscera independent of the gut. These arteries are the bronchial arteries. Here they are. From its origin, the bronchial arteries travels to the posterior surface of the left main bronchus and right main bronchus, travels along its surface following the same branching pattern as the bronchial tree. It terminates around the level of the respiratory bronchioles. It's important to note that bronchial vessels are part of systemic circulation, not the pulmonary circulation. They are not involved in the gas exchange that take place at the alveoli between the blood and the spirit air, although some distal bronchial vessels do anastomose with pulmonary vessels. Branches of posterolateral plane, intercostal arteries. Posterolateral plane gives rise to paired parietal branches that supply the body wall. These arterias are the nine posterior intercostal arteries and the subcostal arteries that supply the intercostal and subcostal spaces, except the first and second. The posterior intercostal arteries 
10 pairs rise from the posterior wall of aorta and run in the 3rd to 11th intercostal spaces. The last to posterior intercostal artery is the subcostal one, Arteria subcostalis. It runs below the 12th rib and anastomosis with the lumbar arteries, while other located in the intercostal spaces. The first and the second intercostal spaces are supplied from the subclavian artery through Arteria intercostalis suprema. Another rule arteries branches superior phrenic, pericardial, mediastinal arteries. Some branches of thoracic aorta do not follow the main rule. For example, the superior phrenic arteries, here they are, they are paired parietal branches that pass anterolaterally over the superior surface of the respiratory diaphragm. The pericardial branches, here they are, and the mediastinal branches are unpaired visceral branches that arise anteriorly, here they are, mediastinal arteries, however, do not pass to the gut. So, they concerns to the another rule branches arteries.